Hence, we have learned that yellow is happiness, blue is healing, red is for the blood of Jesus, orange is for happiness as well, joy and encouragement. We learned that green is the color of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many can do money? Amen. Somebody shout money. Amen. We can all use money. Amen. So we have learned about art and purple represent royalty. And then so we learn a lot, and that's throughout our time and as, as we live, we learn that colors that can be represented of a lot of things. And then as in work, you see a mechanic, he normally has on blue. And then when you see a person in, in purple, you know that this is somebody in some kind of uh, speciality place. Amen. Lord, when you see green, you think about a garden. Amen. When you see brown, you see you think about all of these things that has to do with the colors. Amen. They represent some, some color white does represent some great in the Bible. Okay. And then the color white is the presence of all light, <laughs> invisible spectrum. Yes. When it enters the eye, it stimulates all light. Cone says God made light sensitive. Snow and clouds appear like it because almost all of the light from the sun is reflected by water. Either frozen or liquid. With only a small amount of visible spectrum absorbed, the color in the Bible today, society is typically associated with purity. Things that are good, innocent, yeah. honesty, cleanliness. Amen? Amen. Glory, hallelujah, say that again. The color white represents purity. Yeah. Things that are good, innocent, honesty, and cleanliness. Amen. Yeah. You all, I don't know if y'all have heard it. It's not biblically, but it says cleanliness is next to holiness. Amen? Yeah. It's next to holiness. Amen. Glory, glory, we see white. You almost think about the hospital. And then when you go out through the corridors of the hospital, you see white. When you go in the room, you see white. When you see this color, you know that it's the healing of God. Amen? Yeah. Glory, glory, the healing. White represents so great in the Bible. Amen? Yeah. Glory, glory. White also represents, it's, it's, it's 75 times in the Bible. In the New Testament, it's 29 times. Glory, glory is the reference of throughout the Bible. Amen? Amen. Glory, glory. It means that to whiten something. Glory is, is Lucas. Amen? Amen. White uses in the scripture lends itself to the powerful meaning of righteousness. Amen? Yes. But purity is to be committed. Amen? Amen. To be, have a sold out mind. Amen? Amen. The thrones were cast down, and the ancients of day did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wood. The throne was like the, the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Amen. Who is that talking about? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Glory, glory. It's talking about Jesus. Mark 93 says, It declares that his remnant because became shining and seeming white, as the snow says, No fuller on earth can white them. Amen. Nobody can outdo Jesus. Amen. Nothing or no one can outdo Jesus. Amen. But we are reminded, glory, glory, as Brother Baylock said. Amen. As I was talking about the colors white. Amen. Glory when the enemy came at him and it shot in his car. Amen. I believe the enemy said I throw the, throw the white sheet on him. And let me write down how many know when the enemy left him. They didn't check to make sure he was. Hey. Glory, hallelujah.
name, glory, glory. I'm reminded, glory, over 42 generations ago, glory, how Jesus paid the price for you and I. Glory, how we got the right to the tree of life. And when there's nothing that God won't do for us, we thank God for the white brain and glory. Glory, because I want my robe. I want my robe. Glory, so that is my color today. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. 